everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Okay, I'm pretty much just going to jump in. Um, today we're kind of freestyling. I kind of know what I want to do, but I don't really, and I don't know how I'm going to execute it. Um, I'm working with a 20 by 30 inch deep edge canvas. I have it on my spinner and I have my little clips in. Um, I'm working with some black paint, white, some grays, and some gold. So, hmm, fingers crossed. All right, I have some empty cups here. I have my palette knife, so let's just go for it. I'll go over the colors as I'm kind of pouring, or how I mix them. I wanted to paint tonight, but I just didn't feel like mixing up a whole bunch of different colors, so I just kept it simple with the colors, which is probably going to be <laughs> um, not so easy as far as executing this pour. Um, Actually, let's just go over the colors now. Okay, so I have Oxide Black by Amsterdam. I have Graphite by Amsterdam. I have Gold. Um, this is Ore by This Little Piggy Pigment. I have Meteorite by This Little Piggy Pigment. I have, okay, so this is Titanium White with a dash of Prussian Blue and then a dash of Oxide Black. So I wanted a gray, but I wanted to try and lead it a little bit towards the blue. So that's what I have there. And then in this big cup, I have that, but with extra added white to just lighten it up. And that's it, right? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for it. All right. If you guys want to see how I mix my paints, check the description box underneath the video or the end screen for a mixing video. Okay, so I'm going to use this to kind of lay out my composition a little bit before I throw it on the black. I want black kind of going down the middle in a certain way. So I'm going to kind of use some of this gold to just give me a, I could just use a pencil, but I want that gold in there as well. So, so yeah, I want it to come, the black to go like that. I'm literally just like going for it so hope you guys don't mind I probably won't be talking too much There we go. Nice. 
this. So I'm kind of just making random, random cups of these colors or shades, whatever you want to call them. Well, let's get some white in this one. I have some more white here. I kind of messed up on this one, so. I'm just going to add to it. Maybe I didn't mess up. We'll see. So this is not Australian flood flow trawl. I know most people use, you know, that to do this with, but it's just regular paint with American flow trawl. I don't know I'm going fast. <laughs> Just it's kind of late and I'm nervous. <laughs> so I'm just going for it. Um All right, so let's um move some of these cups out of the way cuz my table is not big enough to handle all that. Now let's leave the cold. Oh, you know what? I think I want to swipe a little bit more. No, maybe I'll blow it out. Let's see. I'm just going to spin this and see what happens. Okay, I feel like I want to spin again. I am going to run my palette knife through that again because I don't like the way that gold came up. So... Okay, I love it. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, whew, I'm just so nervous for this one. I think because I'm like running low on paint and I haven't ordered any yet because I'm slacking over here. Um, and it's a big canvas and a lot of paint. So, so we'll give it another spin. Just a little bit. I'm not going to spin it too hard. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Just to kind of cover the edges all the way. 
I could just go around, but I have it on my spinner and it's fun. So, and I have to fix this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Glad I put that little bit of Prussian blue because it totally like just changed the, it's just not like a flat gray. It leans a teeny tiny bit towards the blue. Just so you guys know, I am in love with my spinner. I love the extenders and the clips. Just that insurance policy to keep the um, canvas from flying off. So it's, I cannot wait to get this to you guys soon. Okay. I love this. I don't even really want to do anything else. gorgeous very earthy I love it this is a bit harsh for me right here so but maybe I should just leave it oh my gosh I love it Soften that edge up a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. I don't even want to touch it, but I just have to make sure there's not too much paint on there. Guys, I love this. Love it. That is like. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love how even the cells just look very like stony. They're not. I love it. I absolutely love this painting. Oh my gosh. I'm like already thinking about now I have to take the one that I have on my above my sofa off the wall and stick this one up there. <laughs> Plus one of you guys want to buy it. So I'm just um, getting the drips off and making sure all the edges are covered, which they totally are. And yes. Another thing about the spinner that I love is it's it's actually really easy and quick to clean off and pack away. That's a big thing for me because the last thing I want to be doing is having to spend the night cleaning up. This is a I love this. Love it. Oh my gosh. I'm over here thinking my hubby is gonna love this. Okay, let me get these off and I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Oh my god. Okay, so you can see slightly how that... It's hard to tell in the camera, but you can see slightly how that... The gray that I kind of mixed up leans a little bit more towards like the blue side. It's got a little bit of a blue tone to it or whatever it's called. So this is so earthy and stony. I love it. I actually had my blow dryer out to do like a chaos style Dutch pour, <laughs> but it didn't happen. So that's totally cool though. I'm excited. A little bit of freestyle and you get something 
that you love. Absolutely love it. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.